Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. So today we're going to continue talking about um, just all of my favorite books of the year and um, today I am cheating a little bit. I am talking about three books. They are part of a series. Um, they are by Kelly Yang and uh, the first book, as you saw the cover in the beginning of the video, is uh, Front Desk. Then we have Three Keys and then we have Room to Dream. Um, my favorite out of all three of them is probably Front Desk. In this first book, we meet uh, Mia Tang, and she is a, a Chinese immigrant. Um, her and her parents uh, decide to immigrate to the United States uh, after their parents are going through financial difficulties, and um, so they decide to move uh, to America, and um, we just go through all of the difficulties, all of the, the Chinese um, immigrant experience here in the U.S. We get to see all the discrimination that they go through, the difficulty finding a job and even a place to live. We, um, we read about Mia and her parents having to um, sleep in, in their car because they don't have a home. They cannot afford the rent after her mom uh, loses her job. One of the things that I really liked about this book was that um, it is through the eyes of a 10 year old. Mia is only 10 years old um, and we get to see her have, having to grow up so fast. Um, she's just wants so bad to be able to help her parents and to be able to become something in, in this new country. And um, she gets to experience the discrimination not only towards Chinese people, but also other people coming from other countries. And she just sees how unfair it is and um, how difficult life is as an immigrant in the U.S. And it's just heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking. But it just such a different point of view when we get to see it through the eyes of a child and I think it is so important that we see how these um, immigrant children are very well capable of understanding um, how difficult their life and the life of their families are and just how ugly the world can be when people decide that you are not part of the world that they have um, built. So as far as the bullet journal spread, I wanted to include part of the Cala Vista Motel. Um, Mia and her parents end up moving into this motel, and they are the managers of uh, of the motel in part uh, in book one. Um, but I also wanted to include certain things of the other two books, even though the book one is absolutely my favorite. But um, the sign under the Calavista Motel where it says "Immigrants Welcome" it is a key point in the in the second book, and I love that part about the book. And I cannot tell you how much I love these characters, and I just wanted to include that in uh, in the spread that I created for my bullet journal. Another thing that's part of the second book, which is called Three Keys, is when uh, Hank, one of the um, one of the um, people that live in the hotel, also. Um, and who becomes a key character later on in in the story um he says he tells mia that the three keys of friendship are you gotta listen you gotta care and you gotta keep trying and i thought that was so good it was such a, an important part of the book also and like i said i wanted to include all those um key moments and and good moments that made me feel feel like there's hope because there's people in the world like Mia and and people like Hank that um, make this world 
a better place. So uh, when I read these books, I listened to them on audio. I use Libby through my library, and but I eventually do want to get a physical copy of these books and um, reread them, annotate them, and maybe even pass them to my children so they can read them because they're so I think they're so important to um, for the um, to recognize the immigrant experience. And in this case, through Mia, we see the Chinese American experience, but there's also little bits of um, other experiences of the immigrants coming from other countries through the eyes of her best friend Lupe, for example. And <clears throat> I mean, if you want to read a book about the uh, Chinese American experience, the discrimination that immigrants go through in this country, uh, please give this book a try. And So that is it for today's video. This is Vlogmas Day 4 and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.